What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again with this week's sticker rotation. What's going on, guys? We are back at another weekly sneaker rotation, man. I appreciate all the love and support. I need you guys to do me a huge favor. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry for this, but I need you guys to go and follow my Twitch account. I've been twitching back to back to back. I've been having a great time. Had about 115 people on yesterday. We've been doing a Twitch almost every day now, enjoying questions and answers on anything you want to talk about. Make sure you go and follow my Twitch, and I will link that down in the description. And um, I hope you guys really, you know, enjoy the upcoming broadcast that I'm going to bring you guys. Go and follow me over at Twitch. And also, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to the family over at Snuffs for uh, bringing me on board with the new campaign. Snuffs now offers the ability to actually sell straight from the pictures that you post on their, um, on their app, which is really dope. I mean, you can post a picture, and from that picture, you can actually share the actual photo straight to eBay. So if you're one of them people that like to sell shoes or you know do shoes over social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and all that, you can actually take the picture and straight from Snuff's app, you can click share to eBay and list it and then have your PayPal e uh, email and everything already set up and ready to go. And when somebody clicks and buys, wallets, you know, walls in your hands. So go check them out and who shout to Snuff for bringing me on board with this campaign. But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get into this week's weekly sneaker rotation. Let's go. For Sunday, man, I had to pull out the Nike sock dart. Uh, the mock runner fleece, I believe the name of it is uh, Nike Air. Oh, I don't even know what the, what the fuck is the box. Sheesh. The Nike mock tech runner fleece. I don't know. Some shit like that. It's some crazy ass weird name. The shoes are over there. That's where they are. The Nike. Ah, oh, fuck. Cut. The Nike sock dart tech fleece. This was a uh, Nike lab release on the uh, sock dart uh, features like you know the uh, whole tech like sweater going on seriously comfortable kick pulled it out for Sunday and I loved it enjoyed it very very nice shoe it does not run in uh, half size you have to get a full size I got a size 8 definitely one of the slept on shoes just the whole sock dart in general one of them shoes you can just put on and, and move and I feel like it would be a really good running shoe I haven't tried that yet but I just feel like it would be something good to run in because of the flexibility and the breathability into the shoe but seriously, something dope. If you rock it with the right type of thing, I mean, feel like it's more like a jogger type of look to it. But, uh, you know, you might can funk it with some pants here and there. But uh, definitely a dope kick to check out. And um, you got them there still on Nike.com. I don't know about this specific colorway, but they're always everywhere if you need to get a pair of the Nike Sock Dart. This is for Sunday. Monday, I pulled out the Nike SB Dunk California, a 31st state, as people like to call it. I just call it the California. Very, very dope kick that I was able to get under retail. Um, shout out to my brother C. Hackett. These are under retail easily found in multiple places um i think the lows go for a lot and the highs you know the highs released and they kind of like just died it's weird how you know lows go for so much but when they release the high versions of shoes you know they kind of just don't have as much hype to it like these um then you got the uh de la souls that you know that those um i, I don't even know what the hell because i've seen some lows sitting around I thought they had some height to it, the Tiffany Diamond Dunks, you know, those things with banana balls. But this is definitely a solid kick to have in my collection. The qualities are phenomenal on the leather. And this is a Nike Dunk. You really can't go wrong with Dunks, in my opinion, price-wise and quality-wise. Quality, uh, they're just built for, you know, destruction because they're a skateboarding shoe, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely a um, great shoe to have, and, uh, you know, I'm always going to keep it, man. Straight. You know, if you don't know, I'm from, L I'm from L.A., so this is a representation of me, you know what I'm saying? Tony B. Too Wild. 31st state, the Nike Dunk. I loved it. I hated it. I blew her brains out. Um, I rocked the all white laces on it. I don't fuck with the brown ones that came with it. These are just dope with all white. And it just pussy pops on the handstand. The leather is straight Pelicans, uh, pelvis bone, gorilla ass cheeks all over. We got gorilla ass cheeks, especially right here. But this is a dope kick. And if you ever get your, see your hands and you get them on a good price, I highly suggest it. Monday, 31st state. Tuesday, pulled out the Tiffany Dunk. Hi, that Tiffany Tuesday on deck. Straight cock, crocodile Dundee pussy all over this shoe. You already know it. That's you already knew that was coming out of my mouth. Straight crocodile, kind of similar to what I was saying earlier about the highs being more. They're not as much hype behind it. I mean, this right here had some hype. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember when they first released, people was copying for like 600. You know what I'm saying? Then it dropped. I don't know what these prices, are, what these are going for now, but definitely. It's a, definitely a dope kick. Um, I love my pair, but my pair has a slight defect on it that I was always pissed off about. But, you know, I wasn't going to send it back because I didn't have it anymore. 
It's not even a high defense, but look how low my Nike on, is on here. Look how low the Nike is compared to this Nike. It's like so much more space. It's like a drop. That motherfucker is a drop to the floor. But anyway, yeah, that's a whole other video itself. Um, Nike Dunk High, though, Tuesday, solid kick. I loved them. I hated them. I blew their brains out. I was able to get my hands on these straight from Nike. Um, one lucky morning, no bot, just straight up. Back when Battle Bots was going on, I got these straight up. And uh, these kind of, you know what I'm saying, they went quick resale, and, but then afterwards they just slowly died down. I remember Scoop having like three, four pairs of these things, man. But uh, definitely a solid kick to have in the collection. And uh, you can't go wrong with the SB Diamond Dunks, man. You know, Tuesday. Straight up OG Classic Jordan 5. Um, Laney, I hope I said Wednesday. The Wednesday, the Jordan 5 Laney. Um, I have not rocked this kick in a long time, guys. It's been a solid little minute, and you know, it was the right opportunity with summertime, that all white, some shorts, you know, with the Nike socks. I couldn't really go wrong with it, and you can't really go wrong with the, with the Laney. You know, it's, it's one of those, like, those OG, it's not even, well, it's not an OG, well, it is an OG, but Jordan never wore it. It's one of them shoes that some people hate and some people love. The fact that it's too much white, like a Jordan 6 Maroon, a Jordan 7 Infrared, uh, Jordan 6 Infrared, uh, Jordan 6 Sport Blue, and you got like the Jordan 5 Great, the Jordan 5 Lane. It's like, it's like some people hate it because it's just too much white with a little bit of different colors and then they sell it, you know, at these high prices. But this was always a classic shoe that I always wanted in my collection. And when they re released them, you know, uh, I had to get them. And I actually like the tongue on these more than the OG pairs, just in my opinion, you know. And then the laces. It's dope. The oval lacing is, is solid. Um, I wish Jordan would do, well, they didn't really do that much oval lacing with their releases anyway. I don't know if the OGs were oval laces, but I don't know. I liked it preferably more this way. And um, I had two pairs. I let one go. But uh, I kept these in good quality, so I'm not too worried to buy anything. Um, and they're still, just, they're still good to go, man. This is the Jordan 5 Laney, and this is for Wednesday. Thursday, I pulled up the Jordan 8 Championship Trophy. Uh, very, very solid kick. Um, got the all, you know, upper new buck on deck. Uh, solid, solid shoe. I still got the plastic on it. It's pussy popping on the handstand. Armadillo is fucking backbone all over here. Uh, shoe that I really don't like pulling out too much because it's just too crisp for me. It's a scary shoe to wear. Uh, shout out to Develop Hype for helping me get a pair on these. Um, and uh, this is a solid pearl pussy colorway. And overall, it's a dope kick, you know, it's a dope kick to have, glitters everywhere, straight um, stingray pussy speckles all on the shoe, and um, I really enjoy having it, you know what I'm saying, uh, don't see myself wearing it too much, just because it's just, it's just, it just looks so gentle, it just looks too gentle to rock, but I need to get over that, I understand, and I, I will, I'll rock it more often, but this is for uh, Thursday, guys, and this is the Jordan 8 Championship trophy, almost forgot it. Damn. Another old kick I haven't worn. The Jordan. The Jordan. The Jordan. Really, nigga? The Nike Yeezy Foam Posit Pro. I believe this is the Pro. Yep, Pro Premium. Um, super, super dope kick that released back in the day. I uh, was crazy hyped up. I remember seeing this at Soul Exchange and people were reselling them for like 350 that first day. Then it slowly died down and then Wish Atlanta came through out of nowhere and restocked them and I just went up there and scooped them up super fast added some little you know Yeezy attachments to it with the lace locks in the metal you got the little Yeezy tab with the two on the back you know what I'm saying they did their thing Nike tried to get milk as much as possible off this you know before Yeezy dipped on them um, this is definitely the best one out of the sold uh, out of the uh, other two the uh, Platinums and the Red Octobers in my opinion like you can actually rock this the Pure Platinums are okay to rock you know you can fit, finesse it I think a little bit but uh, reds are just too much red for me it's just too much it's too much suwu it's straight suwu but these are dope man you know black uh, I got that pin of pink infrared but you know you really don't see that with the shoes over but I don't really care I like that colorway anyway and then you got the glow, glow in the dark bottom super dope kick happy to have and uh it's a good it's a good solid foam to have in the collection I only got two foams now I used to have a couple foams I had the um the Sport Royal ones, the ones that were red, which were blue with the gray. Then I had a pair of the uh, Volts, metal, whatever, the Volt ones. And I think that was it. I sold those. I had, I had the Safaris also. I sold all three of those. It's only these and the Supremes now, man. Foam's got to come back with some more classics. I would have got the Pearls, but I'm not buying that pack. But anyway, moving on. This is Friday. Last but not least for Saturday, of course, the Sample IND 
SMPL, IND, Sample Industries slides. These released this Saturday. A lot of you guys might have not known that because we didn't push as much um, promotion behind it. We wanted to kind of just let it do its own thing. I didn't really talk much about it in the videos, but if you're actually at this video now and you didn't know yet, these are live and they are available on the site now. So the 7 to 12. I wore these all Saturday. I didn't do shit. I just chilled the crib. Sample line, these slides. You know what I'm saying? So check them out. Seriously dope. You know, comfortable uh, and durable. You can, you know, freak your girl a couple times in them or you can all the time in them if you want. You know, do what you got to do. But definitely a super dope, you know, anything of touch. If we, we going to touch, we're going to make sure it's dope. We ain't going to give you no bullshit. But go check them out if you want some. That's the kick for Saturday. I didn't do no off foot. Y'all niggas know how slides are on feet. But uh, yeah, man, uh, this is the Saturday kick. And that is this week's weekly sneaker rotation, guys. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's weekly sneaker rotation. Make sure you hit that like button, you comment, and subscribe. Make sure you go follow me over on Twitch at 2 Wild Gaming. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, Snups, Facebook, Snapchat, Vine, all that at Tony D2 Wild. Go copy pairs, self repair, sample line D. Um, slides and um, go whack your willy, man. If you got to, it's your boy Tony D2 Wild. I'm checking in, I'm checking out. Peace. The tin, oh, the tin egg, the tin egg, the tin egg. Don't look at me, look at the fucking ball. Give me some, baby. Give me some. Why the fuck come on you goddamn beast must stay the fuck beast, man? Eevee's not a fucking special Pokemon, you bitch. I walked 10 fucking kilometers. I drove 10 kilometers for this fucking Eevee, man. What is the rank on it? 440 fucking 7. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck you, Pokemon Go. Suck my fucking dick, bitch.